guys. So this is my grocery haul for this week. Last week we went to Costco as a stock up haul. So we really didn't need that much this week. Um, this should get us through to the end of the month. And I'm going to go over my numbers with you and my meal plan for the next week and a half. Say good morning, Scarlett. Good morning. <laughs> so the first thing we needed was this 10 pound bag of potatoes um, this grocery haul by the way is from Walmart um, you'll see that in the title but the 10 pounds of potatoes were three dollars and 94 cents way pricier than Aldi I could probably get that for one to two dollars at Aldi the cheese the same thing um, they're a pound each and they were $3.98 each. And I know I could get that cheaper at Aldi. It's just we needed just a fast run. I wasn't able to go. So my husband went and this is everything that he picked up. Um, this paste picante sauce salsa. That's the favorite of my daughter Scarlett. She likes it because it's not chunky. And she doesn't like the chunks on her chips and salsa. So we stocked up on that while we were at Walmart. Or while my husband was at Walmart. And that was $2.68. Um, next, I asked my husband to pick up this tofu. Um, you're going to see our meal plan is vegetarian for this month. We don't eat a lot of meat, and I'm trying to kind of run towards a more vegetarian diet. So we're going to test out this tofu again. I've made it a few times, um, and I really like it, but I want to get the family more on board, so I have a fun recipe to use this week with tofu. And it was $1.84. Um, next were the avocados. They're 50 cents each. My hubby picked those out because I was all the way out of avocados. And I've been sad without them. <laughs> the next deal we did was the almond milk. The unsweetened original almond milk. This one was $2.98. Not too much more than Aldi. Aldi's is $1.99. So it's like a dollar more. And then my husband got himself two vanilla caramel coffee creamers. And those were, let me see, three eighteen each. So again, like a dollar more each from Aldi. So everything was like a dollar more than at Aldi. And then the main reason we went was my daughter was out of croutons. And she cannot be out of croutons because she eats Caesar salad like every single day. So um, since she was out of croutons, we got her some. And they were... 98 cents each so let me show you what I have on hand already because it's the end of the month we try to use up what we have on hand so let me show you real quick all right over here we have just leftover stuff from Costco so I have like ketchup I have that lemonade mix I have syrup canned fruit I also have a bunch of crackers and snack things from the Dollar Tree right there and some juice um in here I have all of my smoothie and baking things like chia seeds, black seeds, sugar, peanut butter, all that stuff. And then up here is the kids' snacks. Um, there's just like crackers, goldfish, marshmallows, um, some candy for them. I still have tortilla chips from Costco. I got this like two months ago at Costco. We still haven't even opened it. The bananas are perfect for smoothies right now, so I'm going to peel them and freeze them. And let me show you my pantry. We have a lot of cereal still. Um, it's kind of hard because it's dark, but in here I have a bunch of um, like soy sauces and dressings and stuff. And then in the back are baking items. Here I have macaroni and cheeses and pastas, and we have oatmeal and some more crackers and rice. Down here I have a bunch of canned soup, um, canned pasta sauces. Here are snacks and candies for the kids granola bars, fruit snacks, all of that fun stuff. And then in those baskets at the bottom are extra. So I have extra sugar, extra dressings, extra pasta, and all of that fun stuff. So I'll even show you my freezer and fridge, but they're probably a hot mess. So our freezer's pretty full. I have fruit and smoothie stuff in here. I have snack stuff in here, like frozen muffins and frozen burritos and things like that. Um, and then we have corn and green beans from a few months ago at Costco still. I have these Boca burgers. I have frozen soup in here. Um, and then on the side, I have this fish I bought for Scarlet. Chicken apple sausage from Costco a few months ago. We have some popsicles right here going. Um, and then veggies and frozen spinach. I had to freeze up a bunch of that spinach from Costco because it was not staying fresh. So that is everything we have on hand right now. Our fridge. We have a ton of bread, applesauce, leftovers. I have lemonade in here, lots of lettuce. Um, my mother-in-law gave us a big thing of um, bacon. So my husband and kiddos have been having that for breakfast. And then, of course, all of our sauces. 
So we are really have a ton of food, so we really did not need that much. All right, so I nicked some things off the grocery list that we didn't actually really need need, and I wanted to go through what we had already. So some of the items on our list we did not get this week just because we want to use what we have. That's like our favorite thing to do at the end of the month is use what we have. So um, these are some of our breakfasts we're having this week. Same as usual. Um, so, uh, lunches are a little bit different. I'm going to do a veggie wrap with hummus. I'm going to make, it's kind of like a McChicken sandwich. It's just a hamburger bun. And I have some just mayo, um, mayonnaise and lettuce and the Boca chicken burgers are so good. It tastes just like McDonald's, like <laughs> McChicken. Um, and then I have a smoothie and this buffalo potato salad is so good. Um, Burrito bowls, pizza, veggie chow mein, barbecue chickpea salad. Those are all of our dinners. We haven't even had any of these, even though it's already, what day is today? Friday. We haven't had this because literally we are eating this pot sticker stir fry with rice all week. So we haven't used any of these meals yet. So we're kind of ahead. We're going to have a lot of extra dinners. Um, these are all of our snack options for the week. Again, it doesn't have to be the exact day that we eat it. But um, I like to try to have our options there. Um, same thing for next week. These are our options for breakfast every day, um, except the sweet potato pancakes because we have not gotten sweet potatoes yet. So we'll have to have something else for that. Scarlett's over here snacking. Our lunch options and our dinner options. This is the tofu recipe I'm going to do. So yeah, that is everything um, for this week. Um, as far as numbers, this grocery haul today was $30. My husband went out because I actually strained my back because of my shoulder. It causes me to sleep awkwardly, so because of that, I strained my back. So I was not able to walk, so I could not go to the store this week. That's why this video is so late, too. Um, but our total was $30. We had $79 left of our $300 budget, so we spent $30. So technically we had money left, but we did go to Costco as a stock up haul and that was $119. So what I did is I took from our Costco haul and put it into our grocery budget to make our budget $300. And with Costco and all our grocery shopping this month, we went over $70. So we budget to go over budget. So because of that, I have a separate $400 a year budget for stock up items. So whenever we go over our grocery budget, that goes into that budget. It's our overage budget. I honestly recommend this. Set your budget lower than what it can be and just have a budget to go over so that way when you do, it doesn't impact other things. So our budget every month is $300, but I have a $400 a year overage budget so that I aim for that $300 every month and a couple months I go over by stocking up on things and stocking up our pantry. And that $400 covers that. So this month we hit our $300 budget and we went over $70 into our overage budget. It's been a few months since we went over, so it's not a big deal. And again, I budget to go over budget. So anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Um, I won't have another grocery haul video for this month because this is planned out till the end of the month. But I will have a CVS couponing video coming up on Monday. What do you want to say? Bye. See you guys next time. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me see your thumbs up. Awesome. You know, somebody thumbs down like every video. I have like one thumbs down. It's so funny. And I don't know if it's like one person going through and like thumbs downing every video I make or if it is like a bunch of different random one person doesn't like my videos, but it's so funny. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up and show me your support and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.